Hello, today I want to show you how to block out a simple base mesh for sculpting using Blender and more free add-ons. Here's a creature that I'm creating and he has this kind of armor at the shoulders. This is already the result, a stylized high poly mesh and now I'm going to show you how to block out the base mesh. Okay, so let's start with the character and my add-on JSculpt and the draw mode. In this mode you can control click onto the mesh and add vertices, edges or faces that are snapped to the mesh. Basically it's for retopology, but you can use it for creating armor or cloth as well. So press enter and the points are connected to edges. I disable the snapping because I want to create the base mesh more above the character and not necessarily snapped to it. I'm in edit mode and I switch to vertex selection and with the new mesh selected I press the E key to extrude the vertices. I scale and rotate it a bit for this I use the keyboard shortcuts S and R. Alright, we can see through the mesh, so I have to flip the normals and as a shortcut I added this button here for this. Okay, now we see the faces and we can continue to extrude new geometry. But before we do this I want to make the mesh thicker and this can be done by adding a solidify modifier. Again, JSculpt offers a shortcut, this button and in this pop-up you can define the thickness easily. Then I close it and we can continue to edit the mesh. I move around the vertices, you can use the move tool for that if you like, but in my opinion it's faster to use the shortcut keys. For moving around the selected geometry, you can press the G key. Okay, so far so good, now I double click this edge and then I press E to extrude. Again, you can press R to rotate the selection. And now try to line up the vertices with the body and at the same time make the mesh more symmetrical. All right, now the last extrusion of this selected edge And again, S to scale, R to rotate, and move around the points with the G key. I speed this up now a bit because it's all the same principle. Okay, that's it for the first block out of the base mesh. Now I apply the solidify modifier. And then use my JMesh Tools add-on to mirror the mesh by adding a mirror modifier. Okay, the last thing that I want to add to the mesh is a kind of indentation. So select these faces and press the I key and move the mouse. Then we can extrude these faces to the inside. I use here the extrude manifold. And I carefully move it to the inside Press S to scale it and then again G to move it a tiny bit to the upside. And that's it, the base mesh is blocked out and in the next part I will show you how to use sculpting to add a stylized look and feel. Then I will show you how to voxel remesh so that we have a high poly mesh for sculpting. Then I use the mesh filter to smooth it. And then I use brushes like Scrape, Crease or the Clay Strips to add this nice stylized look and feel to the mesh. Here you see the result of the next part. I hope you found this interesting and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions add these to the comments and I also added the links to my add-ons to the description below. As you know you can also get these from the Blender market to support the development, my channel and the Blender dev fund. See you guys in the next one here on JNM.